to my channel or if this is your first time visiting, then welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Today, I'm here to take you through an energizing pregnancy yoga flow that's safe for all trimesters. So that's for you in the first trimester, second trimester, and really super late on in the third trimester. As always, I will be giving modifications depending on where you are in pregnancy, so you can always listen and adapt the practice to make it your own. If at any time anything doesn't feel right, please stop what you're doing and rest. All right, give this video a quick thumbs up, hit subscribe to join the Love and Yoga family, and let's get started. All right, lovely mums to be. Let's find some energy today. So we're going to start seated on our mats. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find some energy in our breath. So just bringing one hand onto your bum, just a little rub hello to baby, and one hand on your chest. Take a really nice deep breath in and imagine you're sending that energetic breath all the way down to baby. And exhale. One more time, big energizing breath in. Exhale. Awesome. From there, adding some movement to the body, we'll pop the left hand down to the ground. We'll sweep that right arm all the way up and over, coming into a nice side stretch. Just creating a little bit of space in the side of your bum, in the rib cage here. Breathing some energy into the side of the body. So a lovely big breath in. And out. And one more time, inhale, and exhale. Gently releasing the right hand down, left arm will sweep all the way up and over. Again, into this lovely side stretch, breathing some space into the other side of your bump now, creating a little bit more wiggle room for baby. Take a nice deep breath in, and out. Deep breath in and out. Lovely, slowly releasing from the side stretch. We're going to make our way round to all fours, so just take as long as you need. Those of you who are further along in your pregnancy, you might need a little bit longer between each transition that we do today. All right, hands on the mat, wrists in line with shoulders, knees in line with hips. You're going to hug your bum in towards your spine to keep your core engaged here. We take an inhale on our flat back, and on the exhale, we're going to curve all the way through the spine, dropping the head, looking to the knees. Inhale as you roll forwards back into your flat back. Exhale, we round, we curve, we drop the head, look towards bum, look towards baby and lengthen. One more time, round. Inhale, lengthen. All right, from there, stepping the left leg all the way round and through to the top end of your mat. Make sure your knee is in line with your ankle, and when you're ready, rise on up, sweeping arms high, or keeping hands down on your hips. It's entirely up to you. If you are suffering from any blood pressure issues in your pregnancy, I recommend that you keep the arms down. If it feels good for you, you can pop these arms high to the sky, interlace fingers, pointing the index fingers up towards the ceiling, using this mudra with the hands to channel your energy flow today. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, come all the way down nice and slowly, hands ground to the mat, wiggle your foot all the way back and round, and we'll wiggle the other side so your right foot's coming through now. Make sure that that, uh, that ankle is in line with the knee, and when you're ready, rise on up. Again, take that option with the arms down if you need it. Slightly lift through the chest, gently draw the shoulders back and down. You can look forwards, especially if you're feeling wobbly in your pregnancy, or you can look slightly up. As we get bigger, often our centre of gravity has changed quite a lot during pregnancy, so we can get a little bit more wobbly, so 
do always be mindful of that. One more breath in. Exhale, come on down. We're going to step to the top of our mats now. So the easiest way there for you, step those feet in. You're going to come to a lifted flat back. So just softening into your knees. Walk yourself up, lengthen the spine, lengthen through the back of the legs. And again, think about drawing your baby bump in towards your spine to keep the core nice and strong here. Nice deep breaths in and out. Feel that energy moving through your back, traveling through the backs of the legs. And then soften into the knees. Let's walk ourselves all the way to standing at the top and take a nice deep breath in, reaching the arms high. Exhale to your heart center, into your mountain pose. Holding it here, nice deep breath in. And Again, energizing breath in and out. All right, the left foot's going to step back. We're going to open into warrior two. So we're going to be facing the long end of our mat, bending into this right knee, knee in line with the ankle. Arms can reach from the front to the back of our mat for extra energy flow, or we can bring these hands down onto the hips just depending on how we are feeling today. Look over your front arm off into the distance and take a really big energizing breath in. And out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Awesome, from there, turning the right palm to face the ceiling. Reach all the way up and over, coming into your reverse warrior. Those of you who are late in your pregnancy, feel free to keep this more upright. Those of you who are in the first or early second trimester, you could reach just that little bit further if it feels right in your body. Holding it there, one more inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to cartwheel the arms into side angle. We can either pop this right elbow down onto the knee, left arm sweeping high, or if you need more space for your bump, the hand can rest on the thigh. So two options for you today, again, depending on where you are in your pregnancy. This is a really great one for building strength in our lower body, in our legs. So let's get that energy moving through us. Nice deep breath in. And out, you've got this one more time, inhale. And as you exhale, you can rise all the way up. We're gonna bring the feet to face the corners of our mat now, come down into the legs. If you're suffering from PGP, make this gap a lot smaller and make the bend a lot smaller. So you're not gonna take the legs as wide. Those of you who are comfortable in your hips and pelvis at the moment, you can go that little bit wider. Send the knees towards the back of your mat. As you sink on down, you should feel fire through the inner thighs, through your groin. Hold it with hands to your heart center. Take a nice energetic breath in. And out. One more time, breathing in. Feel that strength. And out. All right, opening into warrior two on the other side. So this time we'll be bending into the left leg. Right leg is nice and long, hips are open, reach those arms wide, look over that left arm off into the distance. Focus on your breath, breathing in and out, breathing in, breathing out. Turning through your front palm, we'll reach all the way up and over into that reverse warrior again, or again, you can keep it more upright, depending on how you're feeling today. Think about creating space in the side of the body, through the side of the bump. Lovely energetic breaths moving through the body. And we'll come into our side angle, left arm down, right arm up and over. Or alternatively, bringing that palm onto the thigh, just to give you and your bump a little bit more space today. That's 
what pregnancy yoga is all about really it's about creating space in your body for both you and baby all right slowly release rise on up we're going to come back to our goddess pose so toes to the corner sink on down into the legs holding it there hands to your heart space remember pgp legs much closer together engage through your glutes engage through the inner thighs think about lifting and squeezing up through the pelvic floor here very important and then we're going to take a nice inhale, rise on up, reach arms high, relax the pelvic floor down. Exhale, lift that pelvic floor up as you come down into your goddess pose. That's it, inhale, rise and relax. Exhale, see if you can lift that pelvic floor as you sink down. One more time, inhale. And exhale, come on down. Awesome. From there, we're going to turn towards the top end of our mat, coming all the way back down, or the easiest way back down for you. Pop that left knee down, wiggle your right foot down. Take knees nice and wide. We're sinking back into a child's pose. Some of you who are later on in your pregnancy might want to grab a great big cushion now, pop that under your belly, and then melt yourself over that. And we'll take a nice child's pose to stretch out through our backs. Just let yourself soften over your feet. Let those hips gently open up. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. And out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And then slowly walking your hands in so you can gently push yourself up, coming on round to seated if that suits you to cross leg or legs in front of you if cross leg doesn't work and just finding a little bit of length in the spine start to have a little bit of a, a wiggle through the body through the torso just drawing some gentle circles making sure that the spine feels nice and released now and just going the other way in your own time. And then sitting nice and tall, eyes closed for a moment. Maybe bringing hands with one back on the chest, one back on the belly. Taking a moment to let deep breaths sink into the body. Inhale. And long, slow exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Making sure you're taking time to slow down today. To make space for you and baby. And I hope you enjoyed this yoga practice I hope you're feeling a little bit more energised. Let's finish by opening up the eyes, reaching the arms all the way up and over, let hands meet. Exhale down to your heart space, you can bow through the head. Thank you so much for joining me for today's pregnancy practice. 
And there we go. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Energizing Pregnancy Yoga Flow. I really hope you enjoyed this flow. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know what pose was your favourite. Let me know how many weeks pregnant you are and how you got on with today's practice. Don't forget to hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family before you leave today and I will see you next time. Bye!